everybody, I'm back with another remake comparison. Today we have the 2008 gunship and the 2013 gunship. They're both great sets. So um, without further ado, let's get on to the review. With the 2008 gunship, and I feel like these guns, like, I don't know why they added in that thing and this thing, and they just aren't as accurate to the film. I honestly like these guns better. Um, I, I just like to look better. The front is basically the same. The only difference is these things are light and those things are dark. Um, they both have these little flaps right here, except that one is white and that one is gray for some reason. Uh, moving on to the sides. Again, one of them is Clone Wars, one of them is Episode 2, so they're going to be different. Um, they both got some side stickers right there. Uh, they both got these little side compartments here. Now, this one has a back to tank right here. This one, it just has an empty little hallway. Now, this one, it does have this door to close it all the way, and it can go into space. But this one, it can't go into space, but it does have that extra turret right there. So, um, it just depends if you like it closed or if you like it with that bubble turret. Um, it just all depends. Now with this one, it's like slant, like these things, they're not curved, they're just straight. And this one, it used curved pieces. Personally, I like the straight pieces better. And now, onto this one. The cockpits aren't as good with this one, because like, when you open them up, sometimes they come off as they're only connected by those two studs right there. So, um, and in the Clone Wars, this was accurate, um... I'm not sure if they had it. Actually, yeah, I think they did actually have that in episode two. Uh, maybe not, though, so I'm not really sure about that. Um, they both have these Republic symbols right here. Now, this part, you can, like, open it up, and then you got some little space there. I'm pretty sure you put these, like, little things with antennas on them. I'm not sure um, exactly what they are. But instead of you being able to open it up, you actually have this handle, which is a big downside for the 2008 version because this one is much easier to carry around. Um, and some sticker detailing right there. Uh, no detailing right there. Um, they both got the eight missiles right there. Now, the actual uh, rocket launchers, these ones, they're a lot wider. Um, and I, I, I like the ones that they're a bit more close together. But again, not really too much. Now, another big downside for the 2008 version is that these cockpits, they're like this instead of like this, which is, um, and these are accurate to the uh, show and the movie. And then a downside for both of them is Lego couldn't have added just another clear half sphere to the back of it here and here and here. And, like, I know, like, printed pieces are expensive, but you don't really have to print it. You could just add one of those clear pieces in the back, but I guess, like, I wanted to go cheap. So, um, that's a big downside for both of them. Now, they've got the detail right here and the detail right there. Moving on to the back. Uh, they both got some space back here. Over this one, you have, um, a lot more space. With this one, it is easier to open up this thing, and it is flat right there. Um, there are studs back there, though, but there is much more space back there. Now, a problem for the 2008 version is that these guns right here, um, it is not accurate. These ones are much more accurate. Um, so, that is basically it. Um, they're both great sets. They're both very great sets. Now, which one do I think is better? Honestly, I think that the 2013 version is better just because um, it has better cockpits. It has accurate bubble turrets. Um, I kind of like that those green and blue missiles right there. And, um, yeah, I just like it better. Though, that, that one is a great set. Um, if you subs if you are the first subscriber to subscribe, you will um, have a shout out in the next video I make. So make sure you um, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.